this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the cosmic game of manifestation, understanding how reality really works. And I'm going to be sharing with you the three levels that you can learn to transcend, which changes everything. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you that of understanding the cosmic game of manifestation. Now this video I think can be one that really allows people to understand more about who they are and really to also wake up from the social conditioning and the being at the effect of everything that's happening, being at the whims of anything that's happening in life. So this is where we really start to take our power back. Now at the fundamental core, I've explained some of the concepts I'm about to share with you, but I'm going to explain it in a completely new way that helps you understand why things are the way they are. Now one of the main reasons things are the way they are is because most people on the planet at a certain level are still asleep. Now this in the time on the planet of awakening. Many people are becoming more aware of who they are. Some people call this a spiritual awakening. Some people just call this an awakening in general. Whatever term we want to give it, in general, more and more people on the planet are waking up to who they are and are remembering that we are not just this physical structure. We are not just this, this meat body that is walking around. That is more of the ego. We are actually more of immortal spiritual beings than in temporary human experiences. Now what I'm about to share with you is something that I began to learn back in 2012 when I started to go within and I started to ask myself these questions and these are things that I think can totally transform your life if you start to see things from this new perspective. But as with everything, observe what I'm saying and see if it resonates with you because that is what I did when I was learning this. I was like, oh, okay, and it started to change my perception, but I went within to see if it actually resonated. So let's understand reality in general and this understanding for understanding consciousness. So in general, we are that of unconditional love and bliss. That is our natural state of being that we simply become programmed to experience less than that. We could say that societal conditioning programs us. We could say it's our childhood experiences that program us. We could say it's many different things. But if I'll go ahead and plug that uh, consciousness chart that I've shared in many videos before. And in the consciousness chart, you will see that at the top you have emotions such as enlightenment, joy, peace, happiness, that of uh, unconditional love. That's at the top of the emotional chart spectrum. Now that is actually who we are. Now the lower emotions come from when we feel separated from that of source, separated from that of who we are. And when we feel separated, that comes from attachment to certain perspectives. That comes from attachment to things that have happened to us, things that we haven't necessarily processed yet. That's why at the bottom you see emotions such as shame, fear, guilt. Then you get to neutrality, which is a big step. And then from neutrality, you eventually move up to willingness and then reasoning, which is the intellectual mind. That's understanding that beliefs create our reality. Then eventually we go beyond reasoning and into love. Now this whole state, this whole consciousness chart right here are the different levels that we move through as we move through different levels of our own perception, as we become more aware and we wake up to who we really are. Now in general, what is happening on the planet right now is many people are waking up to who they are. They are remembering this. Now with remembering, it's not that they're learning anything new, they are simply remembering what they already know at a deep level. Because that's one of the things that happens when we come to earth is when we come to earth, we go through a veil of forgetfulness. We forget who we are at a greater sense. This makes the school of earth, what earth is, is a form of school. Although you can't really call it a form of school because a school is where you go to learn things. Whereas earth is where you remember. It's the idea that if you were playing a video game for example and you knew that it was a video game, you would only play it to a certain extent. But if when you logged into a video game you thought it was real, you would have a much different experience than you would if you knew it was fake. Now in a way, the reality that we live in is a form of virtual reality. We live and we interpret reality through our five senses. At a greater level though, we are unconditional love and bliss. We have simply gone through that 
of a veil of, forgetf veil, veil of forgetfulness to then go through the experience that we're having on earth because it makes it more real and it makes it something more of an experience. Now the thing is sometimes people experience a lot of pain with that because when you forget who you are, sometimes you'll go through the periods of pain. But a lot of people that go through that pain also eventually make it through because then that pressure causes them to come out of the other end with a spiritual awakening. So one of the purposes of life is to remember who we are. And if you are watching this video, then most likely you are already going through that process. You are going through the process of remembering who you are and you are a part of this shift that's happening on the planet. Now maybe it's just you being you and you're adding value or maybe you're sharing this information with other people. Whatever it is, this consciousness shift is happening and will be happening over the next hundred years or so and even beyond that but the main changes will begin happening right now and they've been happening for about the past 10, 15 years now. Now in general, what I'm going to be sharing with you is understanding this cosmic game, reality in a way is like a game and when we look at the cosmic game, we'll see that there's three main different layers of this reality. Now, first off, when we logged into this game of life on earth, one of the reasons so many people are here right now is because there's a transformation that's happening on the planet. There is people that are, and just if you want to know where I get this information, there is about 17 or 19 books by Dolores Cannon. That's where I got some of it. So a lot of it is actually from within, from something that I could feel. It's kind of intuitive. But Dolores Cannon has 17 books which are people in the deepest levels of brainwave activity, deepest levels of the subconscious mind. What happens is these people go into this process which is called uh, QHHT, Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique. They go into this really deep level of hypnosis. Their higher self or their subconscious mind comes through and will pretty much answer any question to why they incarnated at this time, how reality works, any question that Dolores would ask them and then what would happen is it would be on tape a player and the videos are transcripts of those tapes. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people have been through this level of hypnosis. None of them knew each other or didn't know of each other all over the planet and basically the main consensus is that there's an awakening happening on the planet right now. People incarnated because they wanted to be a part of this transformation. That's why there's over 7 billion people here right now because people keep or souls keep coming in because they want to be part of this transformation that is happening right now. So when you decided to come here, it could have been because you knew this transformation was going on. You decided to be here. Some people have been here many, many, many times. Some people have been here a little bit less than maybe normally incarnate on other systems and other realities on other planets planets we could say but nonetheless reality is a dream anyways. So let's just understand that it's just something we could take a lot more lightly. We can have fun with this process. We're meant to have fun. We're meant to learn and have fun but it doesn't have to be so serious. Anyways, when we come into this reality what there is is there's three main levels. The first level is the stage. The stage is already set up. The stage is the planet, right? There's different continents on the planet. The planet is spinning. That is the stage. That is the fit, the physical reality that we experience would be that of the earth, us incarnating on the earth, using the carbon bodies that we have, the societal type structures that we have, the different uh, land masses. All of these things are set into the stage. So the stage in a way is somewhat set so that when we get here, we're able to plug into the reality and we have certain laws we could say. We have a certain level of what we could perceive as gravity. We have a perception of that of the earth in general, the way things kind of work when it comes to the physics of this planet. These are things that we set at certain level at a higher level as well. Remember, we are all one consciousness. We are dreaming that we are all separate but in actuality we're all connected. But that was one thing that we decided with this reality system of earth is that there is the stage. The stage is the planet and the planet has certain physical structures, has certain laws with it. The law of attraction could be seen as one of those things. Whatever you perceive of, you find more and more evidence of, like attracts like. So we have that of the stage. Now that's the first level. That is the physical part of, uh, of this experience of what at least what we think is physical but we know is also in vibrational interpretations. Now let's go to the second stage or the second level of this would be the collective consciousness. So the collective consciousness, you get the idea. Collective consciousness. Now on this on this earth, this stage, we have that of many different people. 
Now, the many different people will, are all having their own individual experience, but added up with everybody there, that equals the collective consciousness. Collective consciousness could be social conditioning, I'll just put SC for that, social conditioning, so it's better to do this than that. There's a desire and a need for people to fit in. So many times there's these beliefs of collective consciousness. These beliefs are what then many times when we're born into this society, we have this desire to fit in. So we in a way tag these beliefs onto who we are as well. But the idea is that when we come into this life, we have first off the stage, which is earth, and then the collective consciousness, which is social conditioning, which is the belief of our parents, which is us and the societal political structure that we have as well, which is certain norms, which is different ways that the reality works with the media and all these different things. These are the collective thoughts of everyone in the world that the stage that we came in. So this many times will have power over people if they let it. So when you're watching the news and you're seeing all this stuff that's happened in the world, if you react to it and if you identify with it, then that can affect you. You see, the thing is, is most people are completely asleep to understanding who they are and that they create their reality, that their beliefs create their reality. So they feed into the collective consciousness, which could be that of the media, it could be that of the, uh, the different things going on in the world, the political things going on. All of these things will have an influence over someone if they focus on it. This in a way can be a big distraction from who we really are. Now there could be some benefits of it. For example, social conditioning has allowed us to understand that if you do certain things, you could end up dying. Social conditioning, you could say some of it's logic. It seems like logic, you don't jump off a cliff. If you jump off a cliff, you die. Logic, you don't do that. However, there's also a certain level of societal condition in some of that that can be beneficial at certain levels. However, in general, it is about waking up to who we are. When you become and have a spiritual awakening, you become aware that you are not just your physical body. You become aware at the same time that you are so much more than that. And part of that is also becoming aware that you create your own reality from your thoughts and from your focus. Now, these are the two levels that we have so far. Two. Now the third level is our avatar self. This is our personal reality. We all individually create our own reality from our thoughts, our perceptions, from what we focus on. This is our avatar self. Now our avatar self will create its own reality, but also collectively we are creating our reality together. So you can think of this as the momentum of the planet. Where is the planet going? Where is the United States going? Where is Russia going? Where are all these different cities and countries? Where are they going in the sense of their, uh, their future? Well, we decide that collectively together with that of our thoughts, with that where we put our emotion, all of these things. So. The main thing that you can understand is that you can be aware of your avatar, but not necessarily completely identify with it because you are also more than your avatar. When you look at all these different people on the planet, they appear to be separate because we have different bodies, but at a deeper fundamental level, we are all connected. We are all one. We're just playing this game of separation, but what makes this easier to understand is that this collective consciousness, sometimes people say, well, why are certain things the way they are? Well, there's just like we individually are thinking our own thoughts, our own thoughts, we have a toroidal field around our body. Based on what we're thinking, this toroidal field, there'll be thoughts that are recycling in and out, in and out, in and out, and that's what causes patterns in our life. That's why we might attract the same type of person over and over again. We might feel unworthy and then attract more and more experiences in our life that are equal to whatever we feel. However, at the same time, there are many other people that are creating their own reality that are also thinking these same thoughts. And as they're thinking their thoughts of what they believe, these thoughts team up. We normally think that thoughts aren't things. Thoughts, although they may be invisible, exist at a different frame of reality. And when we see that whether or not someone opposes something, they're adding energy to it. This is why you may get and you may notice that whoever wins the, presiden the presidential election, whoever has the most energy and the most attention will win, whether it's positive or negative. That's because it's the collective consciousness is pushing the most energy in that direction. Now in general, something that's very powerful is when many people are focused on one thing, 
When many people are focused on one thing, it adds energy to it. That's why maybe if you've ever gone to a sports game, you may have felt the rush of energy just from being there. Well, that's because you've got not only that of the thousands of people that are physically there, but you've got millions of people around the world that may be watching that same type of game. So it's like it's adding so much energy to it. However, you can be aware of it, but the key is understanding these three levels because once you're aware of these three levels, you can start to transcend the game. Now, in general, if you simply focus on raising the own, your own consciousness by understanding that your avatar is just that, it is an avatar. You don't have to identify with that of your physical body and think that this is all who you are because if you do that, then many times you'll experience the resistance that comes with it. So it's about understanding that the avatar is a part of who you are, but you are a larger consciousness structure as well. You are unconditional love and bliss. You exist in higher dimensions of reality right now and are simply dreaming that this is who you are. Life on earth and becoming part of the purpose of life on earth is to become aware that this is a dream. This is a cosmic game that we are all playing. There may be different levels of it. This is why beliefs create reality. Someone may say, well, if I believe I can fly, why can't I fly? Well, the stage, the earth that you decided to come into had certain physical laws. So maybe at certain levels, when you become so at your core, so at who you are, maybe then you could. When we look at someone like Jesus or enlightened people that supposedly were able to walk on water, that could have been them embodying the true self, the true core self of who they are and because they were doing that, they were able to do God-like things. Now at the same time, that same energy exists within all of us and the more aware we become of who we really are, which is not just the avatar, which is consciousness itself, we begin to transcend our own levels of consciousness. So this is about being aware that in the reality that we incarnated in, there's a certain type of rule set. The rule set is gravity. The rule set is the law of attraction. The rule set is what you put out, what you get back. It could be certain levels of karma. However, this planet in general is going through a transformation right now. The stage is getting transformed. There we are coming in because the only way, this is the thing, this is what happened. If you want to go a little bit deeper, here we go. What happened was is on this planet there is free will. There is free will where we can do what we want and we can in a way kind of go in the direction that we want to go in. Now this is what happened. There are influences that has happened on the earth and certain influences has caused, caused certain negative things to happen. For example, Hiroshima, that was one of them. This uh, nuclear bomb that goes off that not only affects the planet that we live in but affects many different reality systems, re many different earths all or different versions of earth or many different planets in general and it affects more than that than just earth. Now here's the thing. When that happened, when something like that happened, there was a call that went out. That call, this is something that's from the books with Dolores Cannon by the way, but the call went out and the call went out because the earth was in need of this type of help. Now the thing is, is it's not like divine source or whatever you want to call it, it can just snap its fingers and everything changes because remember, we want to have a physical experience. We want to understand how we can experience this together because we're all one consciousness at the same time. So this call goes out. The only way that we can influence this reality which been, it's been in a certain way in a certain form of limitation and maybe under certain influences from other reality systems maybe in a negative way. The only way that we could influence it was through the inside, by incarnating into it, by forgetting who we are, by coming here and then going through the process of remembering which is painful because many of us exist in higher states of consciousness of unconditional love and bliss. All of a sudden we are coming to earth, we have to forget who we are. There's a good chance that there will be pain involved. There's a good chance that we're going to have to do a lot of different things to remember that this is who we are. Now if you're watching this video then you're on that path already. So the idea is that then the earth is time to go through a transformation. That's why there's 7 billion plus people here. So we've incarnated into the system of earth to have this kind of change to go through this game of remembrance so that we can help other people go through this transformation as well. In essence what is happening is the planet is raising its vibrational frequency and we have the ability as consciousness to go through our own soul's evolution as well, our own transformation of consciousness. That is what is happening. That's why there's these three 
different levels of reality, three different levels of manifestation. We're going through a manifestation change on the stage itself because the earth is going through a transformation and we are a part of it. We are the cells of Gaia, just like there are cells inside of our body. We are the cells of Gaia. Some people are more cancerous cells. Some people are more white blood cells. Some people are more of different versions of that of what we could, you know, kind of use met as a metaphor of the body. But in general, we are becoming more aware of who we are. We are increasing our light quotient and we are also increasing our vibration. Then we have collective reality. Right now, there's people like me on YouTube making videos with the intention of influencing the collective consciousness in a powerful way so that more and more people wake up. The more and more people that wake up, the more people increase their vibration, the more that also influences the rest of the planet. You see, the higher your vibration goes, the more impact you have on other people. So when we are saying, well, not everyone on the planet's awake right now, you're telling me everyone's gonna wake up on the planet? Not everybody necessarily needs to wake up on the planet because just let's say we have a hundred people that are of a higher level consciousness, maybe they exist on that scale of consciousness and more of the love or the reasoning. Those couple hundred people or those thousand people will have more energy, more influence over that reality, positive influence than millions of people at a one or 200 range. So the higher you raise your vibration, the more you have ability to influence reality in a positive way. Now this is the thing. If you want to transcend the negativity of collective consciousness, if you want to more so exist in that of a higher state of consciousness, focus on what you believe to be true, focus on knowing that you are more than your avatar body and you could start to have a shift in consciousness by understanding who you really are, that your beliefs create your reality. Now, if you choose to not focus on the lower vibrational states of the collective consciousness, which simply means you don't watch the news, you don't choose to get triggered by certain things that are happening, you're gonna start to take your power back. It's only when we add energy to it, we relate to it, we see it as part of reality, does that really have power over us. Now the key is being aware of what beliefs we have and how that's controlling our life experiences. When we realize that everything in our life is a reflection of what we believe to be true, we start to take our power back. So these are the three main levels of manifestation of the cosmic game that we have chosen to play. We have incarnated on this earth from the inside to go through this transformation that's happening on the planet right now. Ask yourself the question, does this resonate with you? Does this resonate at a core level? Let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you. And the reason I say this is because don't take what I'm saying and think that this is the truth. Remember, all truths are true. Whatever we believe to be true is reflected back to us. But if this resonates with you at a deep level, then you'll see that maybe it's something you can use in a positive way. This is what has allowed me to transform my own life. Many other people that I've worked with is understanding this idea of how reality works because then we can see that we can start to take our power back. Instead of giving and being at the unconsciousness of collective conditioning, of uh, collective consciousness, we can start to take our power back and move in the direction that we want. So. Let me know if this video resonates with you in the comments below. Also, I'm gonna be, and I'm creating right now, something called the Shift Experience with Aaron Dowdy. This is a course that you can go through that will show you, it's more than just an intellectual idea, it's an actual transformation experience where you start to shift out of understanding that you are more than your avatar, where you understand more of how your beliefs create your reality. When you change what you believe to be true, everything in your life begins to change. And when you start to do this, you move from having to doing into being and that shift will change your whole entire life. That is the shift that I am creating with the shift experience. I will also be doing that of traveling the world and giving seminars on this, uh, but it will also be a digital course that you can take from home with meditations and everything involved to help you create a shift in your life. So if that's something you're interested, you'll see in the top of the description box below, you'll see the shift experience where you can also get uh, notified as to when that becomes live as well as I'll send out daily newsletters there as well with a whole bunch of uh, more written type stuff than that of just videos. So you can sign up for that. I also do more live Q and A's on Instagram. So if you want to interact with me on Instagram, you'll see my Instagram right here. I do uh, twice a day I post there plus I do live Q and A's randomly. So if you want to be a part of that, you can join there as well. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video. If you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification gear next to the subscribe button so that you can see the daily vids that I do. The way YouTube does things is you actually have to hit that button to see the daily vids. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.